Hello everybody. Today uh, we're gonna talk about uh, using uh, Microsoft Excel for solving a um, set of linear algebraic equations using matrices. Uh, but before we go ahead and see how we can do this in Excel, I'd like to first uh, review quickly how this, uh, these equations can be solved using matrices um, and then see how we can use Excel. So first let's say we have this set of uh, algebraic equations it's a1x plus b1y plus c1z equals l so a1, a2, a3 and C, b's and c's are all con constant uh, constant coefficients so these are numbers that we, we know and the same as l, m and n these are constants and x, y and z's are the variables that we are trying to get by solving these equations and uh, the way that uh, we solve these equations is using matrices is to put them in a matrix form which means that we will put it in this way so we all know that uh, to multiply two matrices you multiply the first row uh, with the first column so that's why the, the number of rows uh, I mean number of columns has to be equal to the number of rows so we have 3 here and 3 here so this means that a1x plus b1y plus c1z equals l which is the same equation so it's just another form of putting the equations in a matrix form and um, to simplify the process we call these matrix uh, the, the co coefficient matrix a and the uh, variable matrix x and the constant uh, vari uh, matrix b so this is the final form uh, which is this form but in a simplified way and uh, what we do next is to get the so our goal is to get this x which are the variables so what we do is multiply uh, both the right hand side and left hand side by a minus one which is the inverse matrix of a and then what we find is that uh, we will cancel this a and then we'll end up with this equation so we can now calculate x which is the variable matrix using a minus one which is the inverse matrix of a multiplied by b which is the uh, constant uh, matrix and this means that we need to get a minus one which is the inverse matrix of a before uh, solving the equation and let's go back and remember how we calculate the inverse of a matrix so we used to do uh, like to do this we have two uh, columns or two matrices we put the matrix that we want to get the inverse of at one side and the uh, identity matrix at the other side and we do some operations to this matrix like add the first row to the uh, second row multiplied by minus one and add it to, to the third or whatever and it takes long long time till you get uh, this matrix to be the identity matrix and what you get here will be the inverse matrix and this is really really uh, tedious operation it's it, it's very difficult to do and then uh, one thing that to, to keep in mind that not all the matrices can have inverse and there should be uh, a condition to be fulfilled the first uh, first so you can get uh, the identity mat or i mean the, the inverse of a matrix which is that the determinant of a should not be equal zero means that the matrix is non-singular or in other words it means that the equation that you have in this matrix are not uh, repeated like uh, the, the same equation but multiplied by two or three or something like this and uh, the determinant is calculated from this equation uh, which is still a long process so to take a look on this process you can have a lot of errors in calculation if you do it manually uh, first by calculating the determinant or calculating the inverse of this matrix or to multiply the matrices uh, at the final step and uh, what we showed now is just for three equations so imagine if you have four or five or six equations how tough this process will be so um, it's it's pretty easy to get any error in calculation during this operation if you do it manually so we'll see now how you can do all these steps in only a couple of minutes using Microsoft Excel uh, and uh, that's what we're gonna see now so now we have four equations and four unknown which are these X Y Z and L are the variables that we are trying to get so uh, what we're gonna do uh, is exactly what we said before uh, first calculate the determinant and make sure that it's not singular 
uh, and uh, get the inverse and then multiply the inverse by b and then get the x which is the final goal that we want to get so first what we are gonna do is to put the uh, matrix a which is the, the coefficient matrix and what we are gonna do now is just to put the numbers as they are here just the coefficients so for the first equation we have one negative one negative one three and then we have two four three two these are just the coefficients and now two to 1.5 1 and 1 1.5 2 so this is just putting the numbers in a matrix form so it's now it looks like just some numbers in in uh, in a table but i we, we understand that this is a matrix the second step is to get the determinant or first we can put the matrix b before we forget it's 1 2 3 and 4 and then we need to get the determinant so the process is pretty easy uh, you just need to know the equation that you want to put or tell excel that i know you want to calculate the determinant and then it will take care of everything so keep in mind that all the operations that are related to matrices uh, start with letter m so for for instance this determinant is m and then we need to calculate the determinant so you will write m the term so it tells excel that the, the determinant of this matrix and then it says here you need to enter an array and this is important thing because all the equations uh, or uh, that, that deal with matrices they deal with a set of cells so um, we will see in in a minute that this uh, this is very important to keep in mind so i'll put the array and then press enter and then it's negative 0.5 so we are safe um, it's it's possible to get an inverse of, the, of this matrix now we'll go to the the important point uh, how to calculate the inverse of the matrix i want to do calculation that will fill all this region we need four cells uh, by four cells like a, a four by four matrix and uh, we don't know how to do this so first before doing this you need to highlight all the cells that will have the 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 result of this calculation so you have to highlight four by four not just one cell it's pretty important this is the first thing the second thing is to write the equation it's m as we said and now we want to get the inverse so write inverse and then it will say you need to enter an array then i'll put the array and then every everybody will think that we have to press enter and it will be done and if you press enter you will find that it's getting something weird it's just one cell that's got and it's not what you want to do and this gives us uh, like a note that there is something important you have to keep in mind that all array operations except the determinant should uh, be done by pressing control shift and enter not just by pressing uh, enter so i'll do the same it's the same equation highlighting the same cells and I'll, i'm now pressing control shift and enter and now we will have the inverse matrix filling the whole matrix four by four if you don't press control shift enter you will not get the inverse of the matrix filling all these things the same thing we will do here i i need to calculate the matrix x which is the variable matrix which is the product that i'm trying to get and now i'll do the same i highlighted the same cells i'll now say m multiply and now just m u l t and then it will say array one which is this and array two is this and now I'll press Control, Shift, and Enter, and now we are done. So it's pretty simple. We calculated the matrix A. We calculated the determinant. We calculated the, I mean, the, the inverse matrix, the determinant, and the matrix X in just two minutes. And it's pretty simple. And it's it's the good thing that you can you can get all uh, the the calculations uh, done even if you change anything of the calcul of of the uh, matrix A or matrix B. So it's pretty pretty quick way and simple way. Just one thing before I finish. Let's say our matrix is non-singular. So if you look at these two uh, middle equations, you have two, four, three, two, and now two, two, one point five, one. Uh, and these three are are the uh, like the, the the three coefficients are half of the coefficients of the second equation so if i put this one 
this means that the second and third equations are the same just multiplied by one half so if I put one this means that the the, the matrix will not be singular because the, the, there are dependent equations so if I do this then you will find that the determinant is zero which means that it doesn't have an inverse which happens here and the same time or consequently you'll not find the matrix X so uh, you see it's pretty easy you change anything everything will change it change based on this calculation you don't need to repeat the, the, the calculation based on the thing just keep in mind that any array operation needs to be done by controlling uh, by pressing control shift and enter um, and thanks that's all.